Question number nine, Matt Ducey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development and asks, how is low inflation supporting a real increase in superannuation? The Mr. Honourable Speaker. Anne Tolley. Thanks to the strong financial management of this government, superannu superannuation has increased by over 34 per cent since 2008, which has doubled the rate of inflation of 15.5 per cent in that same time. As this government has committed to keeping superannuation and veterans' pension rates at 66 per cent of average income, both rates will increase by 2.73 per cent on 1 April. This means that in addition to lower living costs, our superannuitants are better off with an extra $15.74 a week for a married couple, $10.23 a week for a single person living alone, and $9.44 for a single person sharing accommodation. Supplementary question. Order. Supplementary question. Matt Ducey. In addition to superannuation, what other supports are set to increase on 1 April? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Anne Tolley. On 1 April, changes introduced as part of the child hardship package will come into effect. That means benefit rates for families with children will rise by $25 a week after tax, the first real increase in 43 years. Given the falling cost of living, this is a significant increase for these families on a benefit. Working for families rates will also increase by $12.50 for low-income working families and $24.50 for very low-income working families. The child hardship package reaches over half a million children and will help ease the depth of hardship experienced by families in New Zealand's lowest-income households. Supplementary. Supplementary question, David Seymour. How long after the current Prime Minister's retirement will the government raise the age of entitlement to New Zealand superannuation? No, I, uh, I'll let the Minister address it. Marginal question I've got to accept. That's so long. Mr Speaker, that is so far in the future I couldn't even contemplate it. <laughs> supplementary question. Oh, supplementary question, Carmel Cipollone. How many applications for superannuation were unable to be processed in the last two weeks due to the issues with the client management IT system, and is the new system still struggling to process these applications? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm not aware that there were... Um, I, I don't have any figures on how many superannuation applications were delayed, but what I can say to the House is that the system by Friday was at 100 per cent capacity, which is fantastic, and they are... I beg your pardon, it is true, they are at 100% capacity and they are catching up on the backload and they are to be congratulated on implementing a, fan, a very complex system right. in a very short period of time. Yeah, yeah. Order. <laughs> Question number 